Oh, it's an absolutely horrible day here today and we're in for a bit of heavy rain for the next two days. So I figured it's a good time for me to give you a look at a product that I kind of gave a sneak peek to in my last video. And what that product is, is a thing called an FJD Dynamics Pony 500. And what it actually is, is a portable power bank. And so far it has been really, really good. It has quite impressed me. And I kind of want to give an overview in relation to it, what it can do, how I found it, and how it possibly could be good for you. Now, having my camper van allows me to be able to go to many different locations to capture some amazing shots. And when I'm out and about, I'm invariably using my gear. And it's very important for me to be able to make sure that I have the power not only to shoot when I'm there, but also to be able to stay longer and go to different locations. Now, in the van, I do have a leisure battery, which allows me to be able to have power on the go. However, if I want to be able to spend a bit of time in a place, I can't really do that because I run the risk of running out of power. Actually, it's quite dark there. Give me one second. I'm just going to give us a bit of light. There we go. Nice bit of color there for us. And the sunshine, glorious golden colors on a rainy day. But yeah, it's important that I have a bit of power that I can spend a bit more time in. And the unit that I got here, which is the... Uh, unit here that I showed in the last video. As you can see, it's quite small in size. And from a footprint point of view, I've seen a number of other different um, units and they were all quite large. But this unit is quite small. And for me, I wanted to make sure that I could have all the different types of my equipment charged, like I said, whenever I needed it. So the first thing to consider really was the size, but the second thing to consider was how much power was actually in the unit. And it has a 504 kilowatt hour power capacity. Now I didn't really know what that meant so I kind of went and did a bit of a, a Google search and that converts into over a hundred thousand milliamps and that is huge in regards to capacity from charging. So I've had little power banks before, 4,000, maybe 10,000. This is 10 times bigger than those. And the advantage that this has is that it has a multitude as well of connection points. So on the unit here, we have a total of five connection points. So there are uh, two of your USB type A, they both are charging at 18 watts. And then you also have a USB C, which will charge out at 65 watts. And then you also have a 100 watt as well. So there's the four. And then at the front of the unit, you also have another USB connection, which is 100 watts. It also is the connection that you use to charge it. So a multitude of items that can be connected in, and they can all be connected in at the same time. Now, to use this unit, all you have to do is plug in like you normally would any of my devices. Now, I could charge my phone, I could charge my laptop, I could charge my iPad. And the specifications for manufacturers is that you can charge your, um, ten, your laptop 10 times, your iPad 20 times, and your phone 40 times. Now, I have charged all these devices many, many times, and I never ran out of power. And I never had the risk or the fear of running out of power, which was more important to me. Now, any USB item that you have can be charged on this. So my Sony camera that I use to record my main vlogs that has a USB type um, a connection I can charge from there. The, the camera I'm recording on right now, which is the Osmo Pocket, that's USB-C. I can charge that. I can charge my Apple Watch. I can charge my laptop. I can charge everything all on the go. And should you actually ever run out of power, I wondered how long would it take to recharge the unit? So it has a fast charge, 100 watt charging. So it can charge up in an incredible five hours, which is perfect because if I'm away for a few days and I want to recharge that unit, if I go somewhere and I hang out for an afternoon, I can plug that in and it'll be fully charged, ready for me to go again. Now I've actually considered other power banks and what I found about them was that they were very big in size. So I'm quite limited in the space that I have here. But what I actually found with this is that it slots nicely into an area that I already have underneath my seat and I don't even know that it's there. So it takes up no extra space. I can leave that there fully charged or I can also plug it in and charge it through my car cigarette charger so that can be also charging while I'm driving and then I always know that I have this 504 watt hours of power always ready 
if I ever need it. I am primarily going to use this for my van, but because of the size of it as well and the way that it's actually been manufactured, I know it could be used externally. So it's made of very, very good quality. I think it's aluminium and something like that um, on the outer casing. So it is really, really strong and it's scratch resistant as well. So I know that it would stand up to some rough and some tumble. So overall, I think it has been a fantastic unit. It suits my needs perfectly. There were a couple of cons, I suppose, that I saw to it. Number one was that I want to be able to charge my drone and my drone either uses a plug in the wall or a cigarette connection and there is no cigarette connection so there's a lack of a cigarette female connection within that. Now I was easily able to come around that. I basically bought a USB-C to um, female cigarette adapter which gives me 20 watts of power. That's perfectly adequate and then I can charge up my drone and on top of that I can also use my fridge so I can actually charge my fridge in a pinch on this as well. Now when I say in a pinch is that my fridge is normally plugged into the leisure battery but should I be parked up anywhere then I don't need to worry about losing all of my goodies that I have in my fridge. Another potential disadvantage would be that the weight. Now it is very, very light in comparison to other units, like I would have said, but it's 3.5 kgs in weight. Now I can't exactly see somebody putting that in the back of their camera bag and going for a hike, but if you are going camping and you can put that in your car, and if you want to pitch a tent somewhere close by, you know that you've got adequate power, not just for yourself, but for other people that are there with you as well. And I do think that that will be a game changer. And then maybe the, the final con to the item is it doesn't have a standard plug. So other units that I've looked at have got a standard plug. There's no standard plug in this. It is limited, if you want to call it that, to USB connections. But with the amount of equipment and tech that we use these days that are using USB cables, I think it is more than adequate. Now I've used this unit a lot to be able to charge all of my devices because I really wanted to give it a good run for its money. I never got an opportunity to check the manufacturer's claims of the 10 laptops, 20 um, iPads and 40 phone multiple times charging. But what I have found is that after charging all of my devices on a number of times and exclusively actually while I was at home, I only used this device to charge up my phone, my laptop and my tablet. I still have two bars of power left and that is incredible so i think it is a really really interesting unit it's definitely going to stay with me in my camper van it's from a company called fjd dynamics it's the pony 500 have a look at it online i might link leave a link for it below here but a really really interesting product overall so thank you very much for joining me on this slightly different type of episode i hope you enjoyed having a look at this unit hopefully you'll join me very shortly when i'm back out in the field i have my van back thankfully so now i can start moving again but like i said from the outset it is miserable weather so i am not going to go anywhere in this weather so thank you very much for watching this episode i hope you enjoyed it if it's your first time on the channel please hit, consider hitting that subscribe button if you want to watch some other content i recommend this video here and until the next time schlange